Hello everyone. In this short video, I will teach you how you can make a small scratch animation where you can make two sprites talk to each other. So let's start designing the small program. So first thing is that I want to change the background of the stage. Right now you can see the stage background is a plain white background. So let's make it more interesting, more exciting by changing the background of the stage. To change the background of the stage, you need to go to the bottom right hand corner of the screen where you can see my mouse pointer right now. You have to click on choose a backdrop button. So this is the button which we will be using for changing the background. Click on this button and when you click on the button, you will see that we have a large collection of background images. Let's choose forest for making this program. So click on the forest background. And now you can see our stage background has changed. Now we have this interesting background on our stage. Next thing is I want my cat sprite to say something. So if you want the sprites to say something, we need to go to the looks category. So take your mouse pointer towards the left hand side of the screen. Click on the looks category and in the looks category, you will find a block that says say hello for two seconds. Drag this block and bring it into the coding area. This is called as the coding area where we make our blocks, where we build our program. Right now you can see the size of the block is small and it's difficult for us to read what is written inside the block. So to increase the size of the block, you have to click on this zoom button here, which you will find at the bottom of the stage. So just click on the plus button and you will notice that the size of this block is increasing. Just click on the plus button repeatedly to increase the size. Okay, so now the size of the block is big enough. To run this block, you just need to click on this block once. So when I click on this block, please notice that you will find a message displayed next to the cat sprite so i'm clicking on it now and now you can see the cat sprite is saying hello and this message stays on the screen only for two seconds because in this box it says say hello for two seconds so after two seconds the message will disappear automatically we can change the number of seconds by clicking in the box and then typing a different number from the keyboard. So let's enter four seconds and run our program again. So you click on the block to run this program. And this time the cat sprite is going to say hello for four seconds. After four seconds, the message will automatically disappear. Now this is one way of running the program, but this is not the best way. The best way of running the program in Scratch is by the help of the Go button. You will find the Go button just above the stage. Next to the Go button, there is another button which is red in color. It is called as the Stop button. So the function of the Stop button is opposite of the function of the Go button. By using the Stop button, you can stop the program which is running right now. We will see the use of this button in other animations. So if I want to run my program by the help of the flag button, we have to use one more block. And that block is in events category. So you click on the events category, which will bring these yellow color events block on the screen. And the block which we have to use is the when flag clicked block. You can see that there is the picture of a small flag <coughs> inside this block. So we will drag this block and bring it into our coding area. And if you see at this point, the shape of the when flag click block and the shape of the say block 
is in such a way that they both can fit each other and that's what the purpose of having the shape is to attach the blocks to each other so if you drag this block close to the when flag clicked block you can see you can see the magnetic effect there okay so just leave the block and it will automatically attach itself with the when flag clicked block now to run this program we need not click on the save block we have to click on the flag button so let's click on the go button this time and you will find that we can run the program in the same way and now you can see when I click on the flag button the same block is running and the cat sprite is displaying this message for 4 seconds on the screen alright so in this manner we can make a sprite to say something to display a message on the screen now we want this program uh, to have a conversation between these uh, between two sprites okay so let's add one more sprite to our program to add one more sprite to the program you need to click on the button which is choose a sprite button at the bottom right hand side corner of the screen just next to choose a backdrop button so click on this and then you will find a large collection of the sprites which can be <coughs> used in our program so for this program I am going to select the monkey sprite so we scroll down to the alphabetically M category this is the M category here all the sprites are starting with the alphabet M so we click on the monkey sprite and as soon as you click on the monkey sprite monkey sprite is here in our program okay so in this manner we can add more and more sprites to the program now I want the monkey sprite to reply to the cat sprite so right now if I run the program the cat sprite says hello for four seconds and then the message disappears now I want the monkey sprite to reply to the cat sprite so we need to make some blocks on the monkey sprite also at present the monkey sprite is empty so you can see both the sprites are here if I want to add some blocks to the cat sprite I must click on the cat sprite and if I want to add some blocks to the monkey sprite first I have to select the monkey sprite so with your mouse pointer you click on the monkey sprite now you can see that the coding area of the monkey sprite is empty because we have not added any blocks yet so let's start adding blocks to the monkey sprite also just like the cat sprite program we will bring the when flag clicked block here which should always be the first block in our program always remember this should be the first block in your program now I want the monkey to reply to cat so let's add a say block on the monkey sprite also just like last time go to the looks category and drag say hello for two seconds here cat is saying this message for four seconds so let's make the monkey also say this message for four seconds so we click here and change this two to four seconds now let's click on the go button now you can see both the cat and the monkey sprite they are saying hello to each other but they are saying hello to each other at the same time so why this is happening because on monkey sprite save block starts running when I click on the flag button and similarly on the cat sprite the say hello block starts running when I click on the flag button so when I am clicking on the flag button both of them start saying the message okay and that is why the message is appearing at the same time what I want is I want first the cat sprite to say hello to monkey and after that I want the monkey to reply to the cat sprite so I want them to say the messages one by one not at once okay so let's see how we can do this first I will make some changes in the message here I'll say hello monkey 
and then I want the monkey to reply hello kitty but I don't want them to say this at once so what I can do is that while the cat sprite is saying hello to the monkey I can tell the monkey to wait okay so I want the monkey to wait while the cat sprite is saying hello so how can we do this how can we make the monkey sprite to wait to do this you first of all click on the monkey sprite make sure the monkey sprite is selected then you go to the control category and in the control category the first block you will see is a wait block so this is the block by the help of which I can make the monkey wait for the number of seconds before he starts saying the message alright so what I will do now is I will drag this block and bring it in between the when flag clicked and say hello kitty and then just leave it there so in this manner you can insert a block in between now what is going to happen the cat sprite is saying hello monkey for four seconds and i want the monkey to be quiet that time so what i have to do is i will tell monkey to wait for four seconds so while the cat sprite is saying hello monkey is waiting okay and that is why monkey will not say anything on the screen for four seconds let's see how this thing actually works when we run the program so i will go to the flag button here which is also called as the go button and click on it now the kit cat sprite is saying hello for four seconds while the monkey is waiting after four seconds the monkey is replying to the cat so in this manner we can make these two uh, cat sprite and the monkey sprite talk to each other let me explain it once again what is happening here so if I click on the cat sprite as soon as I click the go button cat sprite is saying hello monkey and that message is going to stay on the screen for four seconds on the monkey sprite as soon as I click on the flag button monkey is going to wait for four seconds now during these four seconds the cat sprite is saying hello okay so cat is uh, saying hello to monkey and monkey is just waiting after the four seconds are over the hello message from the cat sprite will disappear and then the monkey will reply to the kitty say hello kitty for four seconds so in this manner we can make these two sprites talk to each other let's add some more conversation here now once the monkey has replied uh, say hello kitty for four seconds i want the cat sprite to ask some question okay so let's add one block again we go back to the looks category and i bring the say block from here and now the cat sprite wants to ask how are you monkey Okay, so this is the question the cat sprite wants to ask again let's say for four seconds now run the program the cat is saying hello monkey and then the monkey is saying hello kitty but the cat is immediately asking that question why cat is immediately asking the question because after saying hello we have another say block okay so what I need to do is that while monkey is saying hello to kitty for four seconds I want the cat sprite to wait so I will remove the say block from here click on the control category bring one wait block add it here and change the number of seconds to four and after that the cat sprite is going to ask this question so while monkey is saying hello to kitty kitty is waiting the cat sprite is waiting let's see if it is working properly or not hello monkey four seconds hello kitty again waiting for four seconds now the cat is waiting and after four seconds the cat is saying how are you monkey okay let's uh, 
get a reply from the monkey sprite now while the cat sprite is asking this question I want the monkey to wait again so I will bring another wait block change the number of seconds to 4 so while the monkey is waiting for these 4 seconds cat is asking this question after the 4 seconds are over I want the monkey to reply so we go to the looks category bring another say block and then the monkey is replying I'm feeling great today and then change the duration from 2 to 4 seconds let's click on the flag button now this time I would like to show you this thing on a full screen and to change the stage to full screen you have to click on this button please follow my mouse pointer you have to click on this button full screen control button so if I click on this my stage becomes full screen so let's click on the go button now and they both are talking to each other hello monkey hello kitty how are you today or how are you monkey I'm feeling great today and in this manner by the help of the wait block and the say block you can keep on having a conversation between the monkey and between the cat sprite if you want you can add a third sprite also in the program and that I leave it up to you to experiment but when there are three sprites in the program you have to do the calculations you have to see for how long the sprites must wait because now there are three sprites talking to each other so one sprite has to wait for four seconds while the third sprite has to wait for six seconds okay so if you want you can add a third sprite and have a conversation between the three characters all right so this was all for this short video uh, please watch this again if you do not understand anything pause the video and follow along with the instructions okay i hope you will be able to make this animation very quickly and very easily that's all for this video I will see you in the next video now. Bye.